Okay, so Tales of an Average COD player. I'm not having it. I know I haven't done a video of COD in a while. I was trying to get away from it and expand my product, you know, expand my horizon is what they say. But uh, I'm coming back to it. You know, I, f I figured uh, I just got finished playing this game. I figured I'd upload it uh, a little different. This is on Xbox. Yeah, kind of shocker, isn't it? I play COD on both uh, PS3 and Xbox, mostly on PS3. PS3 is like my main system. I like it better than the Xbox for many reasons, uh, Blu-ray and, you know, free and everything like that. But nah, I'm not going to get into that. But, yeah, I'm playing it on Xbox now, and uh, I, I tend to play a lot better on Call of Duty on Xbox than I do on PS3. I can't really say why. I don't know whether it's the game itself or... Maybe it's the way the controller just fits so snugly in your hand, like a little puppy. Or maybe the buttons, the buttons are reversed, they're switched, you know, I don't know. But this is pretty good gameplay. Uh, I started off with the FAMAS, and then uh, I didn't like the way it was shooting. After they nerfed it, it really didn't, that, that was like the luckiest grenade in the world right there. In fact, I got a lucky grenade later on too. Uh, what do you uh, real quick? What do you guys like using? Do you like using the uh, sticky grenades or do you like the frags? I have, I don't know. I like the sticky grenades because they you can just throw them on somebody and stick them. Or the short fuse actually helps. The frag grenades do get some kills though. I don't know. Do they do the same power? Is one more? Is one stronger than the other? I'm not sure, but uh, I'm, I seem to be having a lot of fun with the frag grenades. So I think I'm gonna stick with it for a little while. Uh, but yeah, I, like I was saying, right here you see me switching classes. The Farmers is just not what it used to be. Our love affair is not quite the same, you know. The thrill is gone, for me at least, you know. There's no heat in the bedroom anymore. Ice cold, baby. But uh, I'm using the Galil right now with the suppressor on it. Oh, another thing. When I play Call of Duty on Xbox, I tend to play like a douchebag because I really don't care. Um, I don't camp or any of that stupid stuff. The only thing I do is I use Ghost. I mean, that's basically it. I just use Ghost. When I started playing Call of Duty, when the PlayStation Network went down a couple months ago, you might have heard about it. It was kind of a big deal. Um, I started playing COD on Xbox, and then I was like, I'm going to try to use Ghost. I'm going to do Ghost Pro and um, just because I won't be playing it that much, blah, blah, blah. And... I'm now coming back to it. When I started playing it again, I was like, oh, shit, that's right, I did. I was trying to use Ghost, get Ghost Pro. I oh, might as well finish that task. And that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of hard, man. I don't know. I need to get a better launcher to shoot down stuff because I got this damn, I forgot what it's called. I pulled it out earlier, and you'll see me try to shoot down an attack helicopter later in this match. But I don't know. I need, to, I need something better. I need something with more power. Um, the next game that I'm going to review is going to be GoldenEye Bloodstone 007, game that came out, uh, was it December or either the first part of this year or really late last year. Is um, I like the game, you know, I'm not going to really get into the review right now, but yeah, I'm going to review that game probably later on tonight. night. I got the night off from work which uh, caught me by surprise, but I'll take it. I'll take your day off and still get paid. Hell yeah. But uh, GoldenEye, not GoldenEye, I'm sorry. 007 Bloodstone or Bloodstone 007. Anyway, it's going to be the last James Bond game, Bloodstone. <sighs> These damn noise trip me up. That's going to be the next game. After that, it's probably going to be Crisis 2. After that, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably sprinkle some more Call of Duty here and there. I'm thinking about getting World of War. I don't know. I played it once, and I really didn't like it. I th I'm thinking about getting it again to uh, upload some videos and do my own uh, review of that. But that's just, I don't know. I have to find it for really cheap. You know, like I was on Amazon.com, and they had somebody selling one for like $10. I don't know. I think I'll pick it up. If I feel froggy, I'll jump. I want to make a video of just, like, cheesy one-liners from, like, old 80s movies, you know? But, like, I make them up, you know? Like, like I shoot that guy, and I'll be like, I'll always be able to hit you from a distance. Or something like that. No, that's not cheesy enough. Um, 
my bullets make long distance calls for free. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Because old 80s movies always had the cheesiest lines in them. And they were, like, funny and they were cheesy. But then you're like, it's kind of cool, you know. It's really cheesy, but at the same time, you know, it kind of stick, stuck with you, you know. And I, that's what I'm like. Like in Roadhouse. Remember that movie Roadhouse? I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but it had uh, Patrick Swayze in it. And he was, like, some badass kung fu uh, bar uh Ah, oh, damn it. What are they called? Damn it. What? Oh, man, I'm having a brain fart. Oh, he was a bouncer at a bar. And he ends up fighting this dude by, like, this lake. And it was, like, this epic fucking kung fu battle with Patrick Swayze and this random dude. And the dude was, like, um, uh, he, he goes up to Patrick Swayze and he, like, grabs him. He's, like, I used to fuck guys like you in prison. I was like, when I heard that, I was like, what the fuck is that shit? How do you tell that to another man? Like, that, the fight would be over because I would be like, dude, are you, are you, what are you saying? Are, are you, do you want to you wanna fight me? You want to fuck me? I don't understand this, this concept. Like, how do you openly admit, I used to fuck guys like you in prison. That doesn't make you more of a man. I don't, I don't get it. I, you're not going to get the upper hand in some sort of, I don't know. But anyway. I want to I want to start making cheesy cheesy sayings like that because that's pretty awesome you know this YouTube thing is f fun for me you know I'm not trying to make billions of dollars off of it or anything this is just a hobby that I like doing I like playing video games and I like you know talking shit so I, I put them both together and I bought a, a Roxio game cap and boom YouTube channel that's what I like to do. So this is this channel is fun. It's gonna be relaxed. It's gonna be really laid back and relaxed. You know, like you know, uh, Hawaiian shirt Fridays every day, man. Oh, look at this right here. Survived the claymore. Killed the douchebag hiding up there. I didn't get the other guy because I figured he might have killed me. I get killed right here. I was distracted right there, and I have no idea why. And that dude just came up there and got the easiest kill of his life, motherfucker. But my kills come return to sender. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Wait. No, 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 no. Not my kills. My deaths come return to sender. No, no. My deaths come stamped return to sender. Hell yeah. There we go. That's one of them right there. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about an intro for my videos. I don't know. I, I, I need to learn how to use Flash. I have a... Um, I go to school for graphic design, and I haven't gotten a class to where... We've dug in the flash yet, but as soon as I do, I'm going to be all over that, like syrup on pancakes, hell yeah. Uh, I don't really, I don't look around, I'm not really a fan, of, I don't really want to pay for a one. I don't know how I fucking died right there, which is bullshit. But this video is just about up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word, I'll be getting more views and I like it. Thanks, guys, for everything. I'm not having it, and I'm out.